Ah, proud, noble, nervous soldier. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Medicom Toys Real Action Heroes Attack on Titan Armin Alert. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Armin leaping into action, attack on Titan, bloody bloody bloody. On the top of the box, we have logos. On the bottom of the box, we have logos. On the side of the box, we have Armin. Armin. On the back of the box, Armin. Ah! And words and things and things and stuff. Warning, please don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And when you open up the front flap here, you get some more obligatory product shots, run down to the accessories, all that good stuff. And then here's where the figure sits. You can see a nice image there of the wall, things and stuff that I cannot read. That's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have Armin, another very nicely done figure in this line. So let's just get right down to it and get in close, not on his chest, but on that head scrub. There he is. And as always, a very nicely done face sculpt there. The paintwork on the eyes, as always, is just wonderfully, wonderfully done. His hair has those nice highlights and shadows in it which looks quite, quite nice. And you have his uniform here, little jacket with the wings of freedom emblazoned on it, on the front, on the shoulders there, and on the back. And of course, if you want, you can remove the jacket altogether. You can see the, uh, the straps and everything there for the ODM gear, which is very nicely detailed as well. Got the belt and all of these straps and whatnot. Again, nice detail, some nice paintwork going on. The boots, they all wear the same uniform, but still worth showing off because it's still very nicely done, in my opinion, anyway. So, there you go. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You get some good wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. You can look up very much up. can do total squirrel or more titan. You can do that. You can look down. And, of course, 360-degree range of rotation. Arms can do a full 360. Of course, you do have to work with the clothing to make that happen. Uh, arms can go in and out. You do have a rotation at the arm. Nice deep bend there at the elbow. You have wrist rotation as well as that hinge in there. So depending on how you have everything oriented, you can get the hand going in any position you want. You do have waist articulation there. You have rotation as well as an ab crunch. Legs kind of go forward, about that far, back, about that far, outwards, that far. You do have thigh rotation. Over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, and the feet can move up a little bit, can move down a bit, and you do get a little bit of tiltage there. So, there you have that. So, let's just run through all of the accessories. Of course, as with all these figures, you do get the display base, which is just done in the trans-clearance plastic there with the claw! The claw! Anyway. And of course you have rotation at the base, you got a hinge there, hinge there, hinge there, and the claw itself can rotate. And you just pop him on there, get the claw around his waist, and that holds him nice and secure-like. So now, well, you know what, we'll just go through some comparisons right now. Uh, here he is with the Figma Armin. Just so you can see, oh, they scale with one another. So you got that. And here is Armin with Eren. As you can see how they look together. And here is Armin with Mikasa and just, just further shows um, how well these stands can actually support the weight of the figure that you can have in a nice jumping pose if you want to. So there is Armin with Mikasa. So let's continue on with the accessories. Uh, of course, every soldier includes their omnidirectional mobility gear. And as always, um, very nicely detailed and nicely painted. You got the gas cans there. 
as always, very, very nicely done. And you got the controls there, again, nicely painted, nicely detailed. And of course, we can take this and attach it to Armin. And you just have the two posts back here that will just plug in to his back, like so. And then you just take the little zip line launchers here and they will just peg in to the sides of the belt. Again, make sure that you don't put any pressure on these pieces themselves. Put the pressure right behind the peg itself because if you push on that, you will snap it off. So just get that plugged in to either side. Get that plugged in like so. There we go. And Oops, wait, things are getting tangled here. Wait, wait, I'm all tangled up here. I'm all tangled up. Wait a second. I'm all tangled. Let me get untangled. Hold up, hold up. Get out. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> Got a little tangled up there. It's like Christmas lights. Anyway. So you just take these right here and they just pop on to those ball joints. They do pop on nice and secure like. Oop. So there is Armin with his ODM gear on. And of course you can take the controls. And you do have the little holsters here done in that little faux leather material. And you just feed that through like so. And just tuck that in. Tuck, tuck, tuck it. Chuck it in. There we go. <laughs> and have those stored if you wish. So there you have Ottoman fully equipped with his ODM gear. Uh, also included are the uh, six little blade stumps. I already have three of them installed on this side. But you get the blade stumps here. And that is just to give the illusion that you have the, uh, the scabbards here all loaded up with the spare blades. You just plug them in. They do plug in a specific way. You want the uh, the the sharp side pointed down. That is the correct orientation there. So there you have the spare blades loaded up in there. You do also get the two full-sized blades, which, as with all the others, are very nicely done, nicely painted, got some nice detail, and you can. Take the full blades and they will go in the fourth slot here. And just slide right in. And you can have Armin all loaded up with blades. So you can do that if you want to. Also, if you want, you can take the uh, controls here and just leave them plugged in to that fourth blade if you want. And just have that stored that way if you want to. It's, it's an option as well. You just take that, just plug them in like that. You just have the swords ready to go like that if you wish. Hey, totally up to you. As always, your toy. Display it however you wish. Hey, you stand, I mean, you stand. You need a stand. You need the stand so you can stand, I mean. Come back, yeah. There we go. You can't be trusted, I mean. You can't be trusted with standing. Say so <laughs> So. There you have that. Also included is the uh, is the poncho, the green poncho there, with the wings of freedom emblazoned on the back. And if you want, you can take this and drape it over. I mean, you just drape it right over, and you have that metal hook there. He has a little loop of thread right there, and you just hook it over. Look it over. The greatest of ease. This one's a little harder to get hooked in for some reason. Come on. Work with me. 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 It doesn't want to work with me. Come on. Come on. Help me, Armin. Help me. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to plead with it to make it work. But anyway, and the hood itself does have a wire in there, so you can have that 
positioned how you wish. There's also wire going down the front and around the bottom here, so you can totally have this just splayed out however you want and posed however you wish. Me personally, I don't care too much for the poncho, but hey, it's a display option and it's always appreciated. Me personally, these go right back in the box, but still pretty cool. You also get the, uh, the zip lines here for your ODM gear with the dips done in that nice silver. And these just plug in. And again, be very careful with these because these are made of a very, very rigid plastic. So be careful because you don't want to snap them. Well, you can have that going on there for a nice effect if you wish. So they can zoop. So I can do that. Yes, I have to do that every time. Every single time. Yes, I do. But <laughs> you have those right there. Also included with this figure is the uh, the flare gun. So we got Armin's little flare gun here. Again, has some nice paintwork going on. So you got the flare gun. And of course you do get optional hands. The hands that are on him right now are just kind of the calm, open hands. But you do also get a pair of fists. You also get a pair of sword holding hands. And you also get a flare gun holding hand. And we'll show off all this works right now. So we'll start off with the sword holding hand. So we'll just uh, remove the sword here from the sheath. And what you're going to do is just feed this little wire through the fingers. Just bring that down. Like so, it is a bit snug. You just got to work with it there. And the first two fingers just go right onto the triggers pretty much perfectly. And the hands swap out very easily. They're just on posts. You just pull it out and plug the new hand in. And voila, Armin is now holding his sword. And we'll give him his flare gun. And it's the same thing. You just kind of get that wedged in there and it can be a bit of a snug fit there you go and then the figure the finger just rests right there on the trigger perfectly so pop this hand off put this one back in and there you go it's ready to fire the flare gun so you got that now, as with all of these figures, you do get optional faces and optional hair. And to swap the faces, it's very simple. You just remove the front of the scalp here. You remove the face. Ah, 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 anyway. And you get this face right here, which is just Armin looking that way. I don't know what the fascination is with having the characters looking that way. Why not that way? Why not up? Why not down? Why are they all always looking that way? I don't, I don't get it, but anyway. Plug that face in. <laughs> Plug the hair back on. And there you go. Now Armin is distracted by something over there. Okay. And the other face you get is Armin's Oh my god, that just happened face. <gasps> Look at that face right there. And now he is just... Uh, uh. And you also get the optional hair piece here. So now, I mean, going to have his hair flowing in the breeze as he's all... Ah, ah, ah. So you can have that going on if you want to. Hey, it's an option, and as always, options are good. You know what, let me put your, your regular face back on. Ah! Nightmares, nightmares. Anyway, there we go. You got that going on. But yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for Armin. Another very, very nicely done figure in this line. Like it? Like it very much. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Attack on Titan toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Attack on Titan playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. 
And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Medicom Real Action Heroes Attack on Titan Armin Alert. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face. Oh, 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 Mikasa, Mikasa, Eren, Eren, Eren is, um, um, uh, um, Eren just went to the store to buy some milk for, for the team, Eren. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking.